God is good all the time. And all the time. Brothers and sisters, it's so beautiful to be here again this Sunday. Today is Sunday. <laughs> and last week, in the first reading, we saw Abraham pass the second test that God gave him by praying and interceding for somebody, though his kinsman, who was his enemy, in quotes. He prayed for this kinsman of his after he already had passed the first test. The first test was taking care of strangers that they didn't know. And then in the gospel of last Sunday, Jesus taught us the Our Father and made us understand that we are brothers and sisters. And he gave us the permission as his brothers and sisters to come to his father and call his father our father. Today God has a message that is also linked to that of last Sunday for all of us. I know when the first reading was going on, you will be ans asking yourself, what is all this? Kohelet, the writer of the book of Ecclesiastes, says, vanity of vanities, all things are vanity. And if you go through the first chapter of the book of Ecclesiastes, in fact, the whole of the book of Ecclesiastes, you will see Kohelet trying to find out what has meaning, you know, the reason, the purpose of life. And the book of Ecclesiastes, to a large extent, did not even answer this question that was raised. Kohelet ended by saying, all is vanity. That is also what we had at the, the end of the first reading of today. This also is vanity. And then you'll be wondering, what is the essence of life? What is the word of God telling us today? The moment we are born, we are old enough to die. We make all this money. We have all our children. We have every beautiful thing here on earth. And one day we leave all these things behind and we go. It's a very hard teaching, but that's the truth. That this world, where we are, is not our home. Our homeland is heaven. And that's what I want all of us to bear in mind today. Somebody sang, this world is not my home. I'm just passing through. My treasures are laid up somewhere beyond the blue. The angels beckon me from heaven open door. And I can't feel at home in this world anymore. That's a song. But our homeland is heaven. That's what St. Paul keeps teaching us. This question that, or this, you know, somehow this appointment of Kohelet in the first reading, Jesus answers in the, in the gospel by telling us the story, this beautiful story, or this parable of this rich fool. But I want you to remember that Jesus Christ in, in Luke chapter 12 from verse one was given a beautiful message. He was teaching those who were listening to him. He had a beautiful message of being, telling them to be courageous in the face of persecution telling them that every hair of their head has been counted, that they should not be afraid of those who kill the body, but that's all they can do. But they should fear he who kills the body and can then put the soul into hell. That's who they should be afraid of. And even if people take them to court, they should not be bothered about what to say, that the Spirit will give them what to say. Those were the teachings Jesus was giving. And suddenly from the crowd, right there from the crowd, Right there, somebody got up. And that's the gospel of today. Someone in the crowd said to Jesus, Jesus, teacher, tell my brother to share the inheritance with me. Can you imagine that? Jesus was giving a beautiful homily, a beautiful message. And somebody right there was thinking about inheritance, worldly possessions. 
And this, my brothers and sisters, most times distracts us from knowing the most important thing in life. Jesus was giving the message of eternal life. And somebody was thinking about worldly things, which are very good. Our money, our house, our cars, our relations, those who we love so much, they are all very important. All we can get from this life, they are all very important. But there is something that is most important because this world is not our home. This world is not our home. That is why St. Paul in the second reading says, if you were raised with Christ, seek what is above. That's the most important thing. Seek God. Be in peace with God. Be at right with God. Make sure you get this treasure hidden in the field. Sell everything and get him and keep him and hold on to him. And so this man that Jesus told the history, this rich fool, had a lot. He gathered a lot. He had a lot of money. He had a lot of, he had a lot. And he said, I don't know where to keep all that I have. So I'm going to pull down my barn and then build a bigger one and then pack all my things into that place. And then I'll say to my soul, eat, rest, enjoy, be merry. That short story, if you go back to it, you will find out that this man used the word I or myself or himself. He used it 13 times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 13 times he used the word I or myself. It was all about himself. It was all about me, me, and me. He forgot three things. He forgot God. He forgot the fact that all he had came from God. He forgot to give thanks for all the blessing he had. He forgot that God has given him his life. Sometimes we also do. Because we can go to hospital and doctors take care of us and we get well. And we count God out. And we say, God, okay, give me some space. The doctors have done a great job on me. Forgetting that the intelligence that the doctors have was given to them by, is given to them by God. This man forgot God. This man, secondly, forgot his neighbor. There were people who were suffering around him. There are people that he needed to reach out to. All the gifts we have are given to us for those who are around us. I cannot admire myself if I am beautiful. I can't admire myself if I, if I am handsome. You are the one who will admire me, <laughs> might admire me because I am handsome, and I, th- I think I am. <laughs> and you are the one, we are the ones who, who are going to admire you if you are beautiful. If you have a beautiful voice, you sing and we enjoy your voice just like she is doing today. If you have a lot of money, you can't eat all your money. You can't spend all your money. You can't. Everything we have is for the good of those around us. And this man didn't learn from Abraham that I spoke about, who passed two tests. He passed. He forgot about his brothers and sisters, those around him. And thirdly, he forgot the fact that he was going to die. And then the master said, fool, this night, because you are thinking just about yourself and about yourself, This night, I need you back. Come back home. You've stayed enough. Keep in your mind, my brother and my sister, and in your heart. This world is not our home. Whatever gift, whatever blessing we have from God, we should try to use it to store up treasures for ourselves in heaven. That's what Jesus spoke about. Those who have material blessings, but they do not store up treasures for themselves in heaven. Don't forget what I said about St. Paul. Seek what is above. That's storing up treasures for ourselves in heaven. Because of he who is there, who we all are going back to. I do the beautiful things and the, the things expected and required of me here on earth towards God.
So what's my, what do I fill my soul with? Do I fill my soul with God? Do I fill my soul with virtues? Do I fill my soul with thoughts of God? Do I fill my soul with time for God? Do I have time to be with him? Do I have time to just look at him? Do I, what do I fill my soul with? Seek what is above. Am I seeking what is above? Because that is where we all are going to one day. We all, all of us. Doesn't matter how old I let I become. By the way, I know I am fast getting there. I have mentioned it someday that when I look at my head and I don't see hairs there anymore, I know I am going. I know when Vaughn touches his head, <laughs> something is happening. When your hair is changes from black to white, something is happening. So it's very important that we store up treasures for ourselves in heaven, my brothers and my dear sisters. The worldly things are, Jesus did not condemn, he condemned the fact that this man was so in, immersed and interested in himself. That's why St. Paul was also talking about greed, which is idolatry. He was accumulating, an, let me tell you a story. There is this story of <laughs> this young man who was working by the seashore. And then he suddenly found a bottle. He picked up the bottle, opened the bottle, and somehow a genie came out. I don't know what you call it, Jenny. I know you understand what I'm talking about. Jenny came out. And then he said, thank you for setting me free. Ask for three favors and I'll grant you. I am able to do anything. The man said, okay, if you're able to do everything, I want you to give me a hundred billion dollars right here. And there was green light. Pew, 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 pew. And then right there in his hands, he had a check for hundred billion. This is a story, but I just want to teach something with it. Hundred billion, I mean a check in his arms. I said, make the second request. He said, okay, I want a blue Lamborghini to be right here beside me. And then suddenly there was this Lamborghini right there beside him. And then Jenny said, make the last request. And he said, okay, I want all the women to be attracted to me. And you know what? He turned into a box of chocolate. <laughs> That's great. It was, it was just about him and him and him. St. Paul talks about greed, which is idolatry. Worship, you know, giving reference to something, a reference that is due to God. Reverence that is due to God. When you do that, idol, this man was worshiping himself. Idolatry. The Greek word latria is what is translated to be worship worship of idol. He became his own idol. He was washed. He was only interested in me, in me, in me, in my money, in my health, in my family, in my everything. Brothers and sisters, don't forget that this world is not. That's why most times I sing this seventh song that I love to sing every time that says, we are pilgrims on a journey. That's who we are. We are travelers on the road. We are all pilgrims on this journey. We are travelers on the road. I pray for the grace in all of us that all the blessings we have, we use them to reach out to people, to bless people. If God has blessed me, I should bless people. If God has blessed me, I should constantly be grateful to him who has given me all the blessings. And if God has blessed me, I should strive, should strive at the end of my life to be with him, praising him forever in heaven. Amen.